It's a process called sonoluminescence. The first time I saw sonoluminescence was in a darkened room. I was transfixed to look at this uh, spherical flask of fluid. And you look into the center, and in the center see a, uh, a glowing blue-purple light, uh, which could be seen with the unaided eye. It looked like a star in the heavens. Seth Putterman called it the star in a jar, a tiny spot of bright light contained in a flask of liquid. This star in a jar is made when a sound wave is passed through a small bubble inside a flask of liquid. And this sound wave makes the bubble do something remarkable. First it expands, then it collapses. And this collapse happens so violently that vapor molecules trapped inside the bubble slam together and heat up so much that the bubble gives off an incredible burst of heat and light several thousand times a second, giving the appearance of a star. are energy in motion. They carry momentum and information through the universe. They are all around us. Light waves, ocean waves, sound waves, and many others. Sound waves are pressure waves caused by a physical interaction. They move through matter, and in doing so, cause it to vibrate in this experiment, two techniques are used to visualize sound waves. Water resting in a low frequency speaker and salt resting on a high frequency mechanical wave driver. As the instruments are activated, they vibrate in resonance with the waveform, revealing geometric patterns. The patterns change with the pitch and volume of the sound wave, visualizing the nature and shape of waveforms.